And hello again, Internet. Now, I've been gone a few days. I apologize for that. It turns out that the thing I got in my eye was allergens. And so, as usually happens when I have an allergy flare-up that involves my eyes, I was nearly blind for about a week. <coughs> Pardon me there. Yeah, my eyes can swell completely shut. Mucus will glue them closed. It gets bad. And I get flare-ups like that now and then. And I believe me, I'm taking steps to prevent it. I've got three different types of allergy meds here, plus the eye drops, two different types of eye drops. I've got an air filter, and when it flares up, there's nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing. But wait it out, and believe me, I take the treatments. Oh my god, I do as much treatment as I can, and it just takes time to go down. Because allergies suck. At any rate, here we are with some Hexen 2 again. Now, one thing I found out... Hexen 2 was one of the very first ones I did way back. Just like Hexen 1, this was part of my original 10 games of my RPG re FPS retrospective. And it turned out that apparently my mic was muted on the first episode. Yeah, I was real professional back then. Mm, I'm still really professional, as you can totally tell. But... I never noticed until recently. I went back and double-checked to see what class I ran. Yeah, there's no audio for me on that first one. It's just you have just a dude playing the game badly and not providing any commentary. Nah, it's just a shame. I kind of want to go back and re-record that, but I also... It's been three years. There's nothing left of that. <sighs> However, we're not playing that today. We're playing the expansion pack once again. And this is this is one I've played before because I loved Hexen 2 back in the day. I was big in this game. Oh my god. Part of the community and everything. And I did indeed have Portal of Pravis. And you might notice my little title down there actually spells Pravis properly. Everyone else uses AE differently. No, 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 no. The actual game box, game title and all that uses the diphthong. So I learned how to use the diphthong on the PC just for this game. I am not kidding. I've known it for, well, almost since this game came out, thanks to that. At any rate, we're going to go ahead and start this off. I'm using the Hammer of Therian engine, but the actual disc for the game is in the drive so that I hopefully will have the CD music. I don't know if Hammer of Therian gives you the data files. I've seen places claim that it does, places that claim that it doesn't doesn't matter to me I have the actual I have the actual disc I have a legit copy it is piracy to download it even though it is not available for sale anywhere and probably never will be because this was released by Activision and why would they give a shit about releasing the DLC or the expansion pack for a game they don't own so the only legal way to get it anymore is to find a used copy and Activision isn't getting any money from that anyway so, yeah, I can't promote piracy, but, yeah, Activision, yeah, just fucking sell it, you dumbasses. And this is, again, another one that's not on Humble Bundle, so I can't even give you that link. Now, I'm going to do new mission here. Actually, first, let's go ahead and view the intro. Eidolon, the last of the Serpent Riders is defeated by four unlikely champions, and oh my god, that is really loud! I'm not turning that down, don't you worry. There's Eidolon, just getting, getting wrecked. The Paladin. The Assassin. You suck. The Crusader. And the Necromancer. My favorite class right there. Holy gods, this is loud. I definitely gotta turn the volume down. So this is what it is. We get to see him raving. Woo Air hump till he's dead. And thump. I mean, in all seriousness... Okay, here we go. Months have passed, and a, a strange winter besets the land. There's the demoness there. Eidolon's minion, the demoness, is troubled by this strange magic and comes out of hiding. The heroes, also troubled by the unexpected winter, return to Black Marsh to investigate. 
This is amazing. They basically made a machinimation for this. They decide to return to Eidolon's lair. Meanwhile, the demoness finds Eidolon's body missing and goes into the castle in search of the one who is responsible. The castle is underground, is it? The heroes catch a fleeting image of the demoness disappearing through the hole in the earth. Gritting their teeth, they follow her into the darkness. <gasps> wow! They made a machine- a bad machine animation. I'll, I'll <laughs> that was pretty awful, to be honest. Okay, where is the sound volume? Because, my god, that was loud. Alright, that should be good now. Wow. I mean, that's a pretty- pretty bad plot too. I was expecting a CGI. I was expecting like an FMV because Hexen 2 has the FMV. Hexen 2 has an FMV when you freaking install it. Like, well, that's useful for doing the recordings and such. I'm trying to install the game. Here's my story. Okay, great. Uh. So yeah, they just did a machine animation of guys killing Eidolon. Okay. And yeah, the Demoness is the new class on this. Let's go ahead and new mission. Now, I did Assassin when I did Hexen 2, and I'm never playing Assassin again because that was fucking awful. Necromancer is my usual favorite class. I really enjoy playing it. And Demoness is like the only class I've actually run through Pravis with a couple times because she's the new class. So we're not going to do any of those. We've got the Paladin and the Crusader left, and I asked someone, and he said, Oh, I just went Paladin or Crusader. They went Paladin. Okay, Paladin it is. Do I really want to do Adept? Probably not. After Eidolon's defeat, the heroes returned to their homelands, thinking that evil had finally been defeated. Months passed with no sign of any trouble. However, one day a strange winter suddenly overtook all of Therian. The heroes returned to Eidolon's later to investigate the strange happenings. Upon their arrival, they discovered a large hole in the earth and the image of a demoness disappearing into it, gritting their teeth. They followed her into the darkness. Oh, that's not quick save, apparently. Can I customize my quick save? No, this is one thing. The music is going to be this volume. No matter what I do, the music is going to be this volume. Because there's just something about this where it doesn't let you... Okay, you know what? I can actually do this. I actually can. Hold on. Pause. The player paused the game. Okay. Bind F6. Whoops. Bind F6. Okay. I, I just did that. Oh, I don't put the I don't put the equal in. Okay. Nine. Sorry about this. So, now if I do... Oh, unknown command, wait a little. Okay, so if I do this... Saving. Loading. Excellent. See? I like the Quake Engine. I love the Quake Engine. It lets you do stuff like that. I actually hate the Quake Engine because it looks awful, but I love that it lets you do things like that. Alright. Yeah, you get actual... Oh, hey, there's a book here. 
Uh, I made one way down to the village. Well, to find out. Well, okay, we got we got enemies. Well, we had enemies. Heard a spider making noise. I heard something making noise. I don't like that. I don't like that there's something making noise. Okay. Made way to the village world to find the water supply has become tainted. What I found was at once astonishing or astounding and confusing. An underground castle sits inside these cavernous regions, and Eidolon's minions are about. Perhaps Razumin back in the village can shed some light on this situation. Well, that's useful. He came down here, he got himself killed by underground castle minions. Oh god! Punching a giant spider to death. God, this thing is aggressive little shit. Look at this. He's actually clipped me a couple times, too. Ooh, that guy is aggressive. And there's another one over here. See him? Okay. Am I okay? I was gonna say, like, am I stuck on that body now? All right, what do we got over here? We got the amulet. Oh, Jesus! Come on! Oh, quit this! And he turns into a spider. At least he turns into a spider that's easy to kill. Good God! Oh, Jesus, are you kidding? I am on hard, so... But you see why you don't want to just stay in the spider's face? Because they'll just bap, 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 bap you. Screw this. I am doing oh so not well. Oh, not more spiders. Come on, piss off. Give me a weapon. I need the sphere of order. Alright, well, um where are you little shit? You're in here somewhere, I know that. Hello, spider. See, this game doesn't have the infinite spawns, so that'll already be an improvement, I think. I don't think it has the infinite spawns anyway. God, I'm already... Look how weak it have already become. I do have a sphere of invisibility I can use. But I like the fact that the items look the same. They actually... If you play Her Heretic, same items. The only difference is the mana. All right. Oh, there's one. Now nah, I'm just going to punch those guys to death. Sphere of Repulsion. Kind of looks like a door there, doesn't it? Like, that, that area just oh, screams the secret door. You know what? Fuck the spider. Let's go the other way. Can I get a weapon, please, other than punching things? I mean, I'm the great hero who felled Eidolon... Or, oh, my God. Who already felled Eidolon once. My reward? I get to punch things to death again. Oh, my God. How about all of you fuck off? Oh, see, now there you go. Paladin gained a level. That is something that you don't have in Hexen. And that's also why I'm killing everything. 
Yeah, that is something that the base Hexen didn't have. Oh, Jesus. That can actually kill me. There's another spider over there. I wasn't going down fast enough. Nope. Player was overcome by the Crimson Spider. And now the music. Apparently the music cuts out whenever I quick save or something. Oh Jesus. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. So expect to lose the music a lot. Oh, Jesus. Health. When I get a weapon, it'll be better, but right now I'm just punching things to death. Hey, look. There's the Sphere of Order. That now takes me down to that other thing. We got shadows and such. We got a torch. But yeah, the, the music is going to be full volume all the time. Uh, Glyph of the Ancients. What the hell is that? It's not a weapon. Hi, guys. Another Glyph of the Ancients. Okay, so it's an item to use. A Force Cube, a Crater of Might. So they're giving you lots of items right now. Fuck you, bookshelf! I like that the books also explode in the splinters. What else we got? There's a door that's not ready to open yet. You die! No, oh, I saw two of you. That's not good. This is actually one of the reasons I like the Necromancer. Um, I don't think it happens immediately, but eventually, at a certain level, because that's the thing with the levels... Oh, hey, I'm back here. Oh, well, that's not useful. I guess it is useful. Wow. A whole room opened up doing that. <laughs> okay, the shadows might be just a little fucked up. That That's impressively bad. Okay, I can go there, but... Oh, I will take that. I will happily take... <gasps> See, that's why I blow up bookshelves. And then I blew it up and didn't even notice. Go me. Oops, what am I doing? Um, no, decent artwork. Have not been this way yet. Hello, this way. Oh, you got a spider. Aggressive little shits. But yeah, one thing about the... Uh, Hexen 2 here. I don't believe two quartz flasks. And a tome of power. Yes, that is something we didn't see in Hexen. But I don't believe that... Nope, that's a pneumatic going the other way. Uh, I had words. I was going to say them. They have disappeared on me. Oh, great. I don't believe the source code for this was ever released. I love that, you know, it teleports you, but not the water. Yeah, the source code for this was never released that I know of. It might have been, but Quakes was, so they could have just built the engine off of that. Obviously, this game didn't get as much loving as the base Quake did. Like, Hexen and Heretic 
were gen or heretic and hexen, I should say it in that order, were generally added to those other engines almost as an afterthought. <gasps> there we go. I got the Vorpal Sword now. And I'm going this way. Now I am up here. Okay. Now I don't know if the Vorpal Sword. Like, hold on. If I swing it. I swing it, it doesn't use magic. I have to, I guess, hit to use magic. No, I had to check. Oh, cool! Oh, wow, I can see outside the map. Alright, well, I guess I go that way now. Somehow. And down here. Nope, oh, down this one. Oh, God, I'm, I'm going through tunnels again. Hey, it's this room. Yeah, it's doing it's using I think it uses mana to do extra damage, like the axe in Hexen 1 for the fighter. I'm okay with this because it means even if I'm out of mana, I still have a sword. Hopefully. Okay, so that should have opened this door. You notice that enemies can actually drop stuff in this also. So this is a vast improvement over the previous game. Except that it's not. Because it's not using Doom. And Doom is infinitely superior to Quake. Just remember, Quake won bad. Hey, Shy, how you doing? Whee! Sheep! Alas... Poor Palomar, you slew him well. Wow. That sheep had a name. You feel bad about killing the sheep, Shy? Because then again, I think one of the items in this lets you turn enemies into sheep, so the AI might have, you know, that might have been like the enemies used that item to turn the innocent townspeople into sheep. Kill all the sheep, okay. Could have been used to turn the innocent town people into sheep. Paladin gained a level. That is why I'm killing everything. Because more levels, more hit points, more mana. Those spiders don't worry me as much. They do more damage, but Watchman's Log. Thought I heard something. A strange man in flowing robes appeared near the well. Paramore approached him to question his intentions and was instantly changed into a sheep. I'm ashamed for hiding, but what can one do against powerful magics? Last I saw the sorcerer heading toward the Duke's Keep. So yep, yep, that, that sheep was a poor townsperson that we just brutally slaughtered for no reasons. Other than it was a sheep and it's fun. I has a sword! Ooh. Oh, hey! Painted on doors! My favorite! Come on, get through the door. See, as you can see, this game still has a lot of workarounds. For example, standing on top of the book to read it. And I think Unreal did the same thing. Hey, there we go, there's a switch. Which zooms the view because, of course, it does. Honk, honk, honk. Yeah, that one was fun to kill. See, it's so much better having a sword than trying to punch things to death. Yeah, nope, I ain't dealing with you. See, I forget what I get when I level. 
because there's things that happen at I think levels five and fifteen, or is it ten and fifteen, or five and ten, something. The uh, sorcerer, one of the things that happens is his base weapon, the little melee hook, starts draining life, which is great. It really is. And the demoness. Resumen, as per your request, I have locked your laboratory and hidden the key in my wine cellar. The demoness can fly once you're high enough. Oh, nothing there. Ah, see? Quartz flask. That's why you... And that one exploded, right as I was saying. This is why you blow up everything. Boom, ow. Maybe that's why you don't. Rats. Key. The mage's key. Haha, <laughs> 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 the robin's nest. They could have at least done some extra graphics for tote for signs like that. Because the Robin's Nest is specifically for the first game, and yikes. Okay. Because base Hexen, you had to go to the Robin's Nest. It even told you to go to the Robin's Nest. It's not going to have enemies at a place where you can't reach. Look at the shadows, man. Look at that shadow for the flag. That is messed up. Of course, that could be the Hammer of Therian engine. But it's still messed up. Oh, yikes. You were hanging off the wall there. Oh, God, I love having the sword. So much better having the sword. And yes, you'll note my AC is going down when I get hit. So dark. Ugh. All right, let's go down here and kill you guys. AC zero. I lost all of my AC already. Oh, it's a spider parade. Nope, oh, I'm out of. Oh, okay, yeah, I am out of the mana now. So it's just a sword now, not a magic sword. So it will take longer to kill things. But it's still better than punching them. That will refill my mana if I use it. Oh, they've got new enemies there. That is our first new enemy. You notice this guy has the blue here? He fires freezing arrows. That is one of our first new enemies here. I wonder if the explosion killed my AC. That might ha that might have been it. Apparently, he's not home. These guys like to appear behind you, which is why I'm putting my back to the corner like this. And they're made of spiders! Why are you destroying the mage's house? Because I can. Is that a tome of power? Hello? Nope, okay. Yeah, the shadows in this game are fucked up.
Ow. Sounds like there's spiders everywhere. Probably are. Ah, there we go. There's a ton of power hidden under here. You guys go ahead and line up and die. That one really wants a piece of me. button in this game. It's weird. Hi! There! Bracers. Back to AC-10. After I've taken a ton of damage. Does that mean that I can get this book? I honestly wonder if, like, just... Breaking it is spawning them. At any rate, Tome of Power get. Oh, it's a gray one this time. Those are more powerful. Gray is stronger. I would be at one hit point if I hadn't used these. Stop it! Ouch! I am seriously tempted to use my mana thing. I hate these. Enemies that you can't kill because they keep moving around. Stop teleporting around. And the worst is they'll show up and immediately teleport again so you can't hit them. And they're invincible when they teleport. Death to the Floating Skull. God, this is awful! Alright, screw this. He is very dead now. Now, question. Good. Breaking things does not use up my mana. There, I got me a jar of dragon tongue. I have no idea why, but I have a jar of dragon tongue. Am I pushing that? I am pushing it. Okay. Well, I'm stuck. I used up most of my resources already. Awesome. Oh, back to there. Well, it's moving at least. How do I get up there? So as a general rule, it's not going to keep enemies where I can't get to them, but I can't get to them. So, next next area? 
Next area. Ah, the CD music is broken in this. It's like the games all wanted to use CD audio because it was the greatest thing at the time. And, you know, they didn't have much data otherwise. But they all failed at using it properly. Like, you can't adjust the volume and the music will often turn off. Don't worry about it. Boy, I'd love another weapon. Oh, shit. Okay, Gollum's bad. That wasn't so bad. Hurt like the Dickens. Oh, and I have no health. Okay. I don't have to imagine that. That happens. Ring of Turning. Now that ring of turning, notice that it wasn't an item, it's one that immediately went into effect. The cabinet is locked with the Duke's seal, okay. But that ring of turning means that those mages, they're, you see their sh shots bounce back on them now. Okay, I'll read that later, because right now I got a ring. Archers, their shots should be bouncing back as well. Ring of Reflection is running low. Paladin, gain the level! Can't make it up the stairs. Ha ha. Alright, I'm going to go back up and read that. But yeah, the reflecting ring is nice. I don't... Okay, you aren't supposed to stand on that. I don't know what to do about Razaman. He knows the magic portal in the king's tomb within the hall of the dead. He hopes to use it to his advantage. Because of this madness, I have used my seal to lock away his spells so that he cannot gain entrance into the tomb. Break it all! Break it all! At any rate, I've broken a bunch. How do you know that one was Razaman? Another Vorpal Sword, in case you missed the first one. What, I can't use this? Oh, I better have to do it. Yeah, there we go. Cannot harm the magical field yet. Blew the hell out of the knight that was sitting down there, though. Or the archer, dude. Okay, let's... There we go. So I need the duke's seal. To 
get into that cabinet to get the spell that lets the crossbow destroy the magic wall. I hope you're all paying attention! There will be a test later. Tits. <gasps> I got the axe! Notice the axe is ranged. Ooh, a couple craters of might over here, too. Fuck off, Captain. Yay. So I've got my... Th I've got three weapons so far. So I've got my green, my blue weapon and my green weapon. Mm -mm -mm. And I do like the green weapon. Because that's my first ranged weapon. No, that room's done. Yeah, the paladin is definitely based on the fighter. So obvious secrets like that. Why didn't you do it before if it was so obvious? Because I was running past with the ring. Alright, I see that helmet. AC 8. Oh, still can't do that yet. Health get though. That feels good. Even more health. Yay. Um. I missed something. I've definitely been missing something. I'm just running in circles. What did I miss? This room. Still locked. Still locked. I need the Duke's seal. So where does one get the Duke's seal? Now I'm down here again. Oh, Duke, where's your seal? Was it in the throne room here? Oh, wow. I missed that. Can I get to that? I can. Nothing up there. You'd figure the Duke's seal would be in here somewhere. You know? I ain't seeing it. I'm seeing weird stuff. Geometry not behaving quite properly. Display rendering. Uh, saw the dragon's tongue. Abilities. Free action. Oh, okay. So, water and stuff doesn't slow me down. I'm pretty sure that's what that one means. I can pretty much swim through water at full speed. The village is back there. I don't think the Duke's seal is back there, but it might be. Hexen 2 is like Hexen 1 in that it's built of hubs. Except, unlike it, it doesn't have infinitely spawning enemies. Can't jump that high. No, I am seeing absolutely no sign. 
Not going through there, that's for sure. Where did you even come from? Woo! We got wall running. Super fast! Super fast! Don't know why these id engines do that, but if you run against the wall like that... Oh, nice skybox! You are not supposed to ever be this close to the skybox. But yeah, if you run along the wall, you just go sailing. But hey, I'll take that. Oh, hey. There we go. Here's where I haven't been. Or maybe I have been. Maybe there are infinitely spawning enemies. I don't know. Unless the corpse disappeared. Now, there is one more thing that I can go check. And that was the fireplace. Nope, fireplace is solid. And the ring isn't back here. Well, I mean, the ring was back here. But the thing I'm looking for isn't here. So. Kind of a weird skybox, too, with a gray pulsating sky. Especially when I'm supposed to be underground! Oh, no, this castle's underground. Here's the sky for you to look at. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. The sky in this underground castle. Not going to stop harping on that because it's dumb. Nope, nothing there. Nope, nothing there. All right, let's go check the previous map then. Now I can throw the axes at the thing. Notice that the axe ricochets also. Or does the music only go once and not loop? Because it's not stopping when I save. So it might just be that the music goes once and doesn't loop. What have we got? I've already been over there. Well, I mean, there is this catapult, so... which I apparently just walked through part of. I'm not seeing a switch there anywhere. Yeah, well, this is the definitive Hexen experience right here. Where am I going? Where am I going? Nope, nothing in the fireplace there. Um, why is that giant? And why... It looks like this opens. It really does. In fact, it sounds like there's spiders in there. So, I'm betting I'm on a switch hunt. There. 
Why can I not blow this one up? That would be why. Yep, that would be why. <gasps> Icon of the Defender. Oh, are you kidding? It took me back to here. So this nice secret area, which is a secret here and here, and here, all it does is take me to this room, which I've already been to. Can I read this? I, okay, well I just broke everything in here. I can't read that, so... Whatever. Don't know what I'm supposed to do with this jar of dragon tongue I have. There's the seal! Nope, that's a stone of summoning. What the hell does it summon? Okay, well. I got a stone of summoning. That's why I'm glad the spiders make noise. It's like, okay, there's something around here still. Now it's so quiet. Even the music has stopped. Nobody is saying anything. You know, at least in fairness, these might be painted on doors, but they are barred. They did indicate visually that the doors won't open. I don't know to stand up in there. We have to destroy the bodies. They could be infected. That's my logic, and I'm sticking with it. I'm finding a whole lot of nothing. Why are you destroying everything? You're worse than the monsters. to know for certain. Oh boy, a whole lot of pointless running around going, where do I find the next item? Oh, this is fun. Yep. Fun. Is everyone having fun?
That's a very loud torch. Yeah. So, this is happening. And by this, I mean nothing! These are the only two maps I can go to. Like, this is it. The Duke's Keep and that town. Because I can't go back to the first map. It's done. So now I'm wondering if something's screwed up. Because it's so obvious, like, this should be where the sigil is. Or the mark, or whatever I need to actually move on. Or I'm supposed to use the dragon's tongue on something, but I've never seen what. And also, why does that block disappear? Why? Why does this block disappear? Does it mean something? Is it just a rendering glitch? Does this one do the same thing? It does do the same thing. It's in a hall of mirrors, so it's not supposed to disappear. That's just a rendering glitch. That one does. Yep. You can't see these blocks across this. That is weird. That is really weird. Like a game, apparently, this engine thinks that I can't see that. I don't know. Okay, well, there's nothing in here. Famous last words. Again, this is legit Portal of Pravis. I own a copy. The disc is in the drive, hence the music. I need the Duke's seal, but I don't know where the Duke's seal is. And what am I supposed to do with this tongue? Oh! I have to crawl on this side of it! There we go. Now I have the Duke's seal. Thank you, game. Duke's seal is broken, scroll of enchantment, get, go back to the crossbow. Assuming I can find it. Go to the second floor, yep, it's enchanted, and bam, now it broke the spell. No, that thing's spawning. Are those two down here spawning as well? <gasps> Can I get infinite kills off these? Infinite XP? I can take a lot of damage for certain. Okay, maybe I don't want to have infinite XP if those things do that much damage to me. Yeah, I like that. Well, I mean, you broke the magic wall, but the door is still in the way. Oh, Jesus! Oh, okay. Pentacles, apparently. So that's an enemy, apparently. Can I kill these from here? Alright, what happens if I get them to chase me? Oh my god. Ow. 
do a lot of damage. Okay, apparently the axe just destroys them. So as long as I can see them, which they're hard to see, the catacombs, as long as I can see them, can't see shit. I can't see shit. Disappeared too. Think I got him. Oh boy. Let's not have any more of those, shall we? Spiders I can deal with. Ah, oh, damn it. Spiders I can deal with, soldiers I can deal with. But let's not have. Haha! -ha! Let's not have those slime things anymore. I said it, and it's right in my face, and it blows up and kills me. Hello, magic door. Goodbye, magic door. Alright, let's go back and explore some more. Because I ain't done looking around down here. Alright, what else we got? Those statues were for your salvation! Okay, I got nothing. But I did get at least 12, 12 more armor class. I will take 12 armor class. The Amulet of Protection apparently does nice things for a paladin. Aha, uh -huh, still not closed. As I quickly run through here, I heard you. Well, I fell down a level. Paladin has gained a level. Nope, still just free action. But yeah, see, that's one thing that differentiates this from Hexen 1 is not only do you have, you know, different base stats and weapons... Oh shit, it's one of these. Different base stats and weapons. You get different abilities, too. So. 
torch really didn't help that much. I was hoping the torch would let me see that guy better. That really didn't do crap. So I'm going to load before I get, use the torch. You're going to make me use up all my ammo, aren't you? Ugh! This is why I tend to save the green ammo. Especially for the melee ones like this. I tend to save all the ammo except, you know... With this particular character, even if I don't have blue mana, the sword is still better than punching. So that thing's dead. But I need the chalice before I can move on here. At least I got rid of the quote boss unquote. Hmm, defile the dead. Yes, that works. Oh, that reminds me. That's defiling the dead reminds me. Hey, see, that's why you defile the dead. Um if you actually look at the story for Hexen 2... <laughs> like, okay, Eidolon shows up, the demon, blah blah blah. You've got the noble paladin who's there to purge the land of evil. You've got the crusader who's there, of course, to save the people. You've got the assassin who's bored and looking for a challenge. And the necromancer who's like, hmm, that thing's powerful, I'm gonna go steal its power. Yeah, two of the four heroes are not noble at all. It's like they they do not have good intentions. All right, nice screw up. Is there a way back out of here? I'm not seeing it. There we go. Oh, there's the chalice. Don't know how I got that, but whatever. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. Where does this take me? Oh. Oh! Okay. I can dig it. Defile the dead. Continue to defile the dead. This jo door is jammed shut. Well, it could be worse, could be jellied. That door is also jammed shut. This is the only door that matters. See, now it's open. That one's still jammed shut. Not breaking through that, un unfortunately. Because, you know, a sword ain't going to do shit to wood, apparently. Even though I can blow up a whole bunch of them elsewhere. Two glyphs of the ancients. I'll take it. Could be a trapped door. Untold riches lie beyond the vacant grave. 
Now, see, that would be handy had I not already... Oh my god. That's why I can't jump across? This thing was blocking me. Uh, okay, so untold riches lie beyond the vacant grave. That would have been really handy before I blew everything up and all the graves are now vacant. Oh, hi, spider. Hiding in the darkness where I can't see you. I think I'm going to kill. Um. Okay, I guess I found it. Okay, there's a switch over there. <gasps> Armor! Ooh, look at my AC now. Still jammed. <laughs> it's a door jam. Found it. Fuck off. Fuck off. Get back here and die. Stop teleporting away. Oh my god. You are pissing me off. You are pissing me off. Not yep, just waste all of my mana. All of it. Every last drop. I hate enemies that do this, that that have limited availability to hit. You'll note that Doom 1 doesn't have any of these. Doom 1, Doom 2, none of that bullshit. All this does is slow the game down. Because you got to deal with this thing. There really should be a delay between when it pops up and when it can teleport away again. Because yes, Duke Nukem 3D did have teleporting enemies. You could kill them while they were teleporting. In fact, it was a bit of a gag that you could do that. You could shoot them while they were teleporting. They would show up and die. Well, I guess I hit the right one. Burial Mask of King Lazarus. And on to the Hall of the Dead. With a sword out front, in case you've missed one. Although picking the sword up does give you mana at least. Ow, you guys are aggressive. Back off! <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a Vorpal. Which means it's the third most useful item in this for your character. Ah, ah. Good utility, but not the thing you're going to use in the dire circumstances. You need the cross key. Or, you know, just the cross. My god, is this guy not taking damage? What the hell? He must be a captain. Oh, he was probably a captain. 
if I can go over there quickly, if I can go over there quickly, I might see that he has gold armor. Yep, he was a captain. I'm honestly surprised there was nothing there. Now that over there looks like part one of... Yep, that's part one of the purifier. Hold on a minute. Sorry about this. Got to take care of my eye for a little bit here. Like I said, I'm not 100% right now. Still got eye allergies. All right. The purifier is, of course, my uber weapon. So, just like Hexen, you get it in pieces. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, yep, there it is. There it is. You can see it up there. That. I don't know how well you guys can see it. Floating right there is a fallen angel. I recognize that room. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, man. Is there any other way I can go right now? There is not. Okay, fallen angel it is. That might warrant a tome. We'll see. Fallen angels are nasty. You see one of the re- Ow! One of the reasons why is they'll sit there and reflect your stuff. And then they have that light attack which just does all kinds of damage. Oh, if I can get her in this loop. Oh, if I can get her in this loop. She's not in the loop. Oh, but she's getting stuck. Damn it! An angel lord, even. That's the invisible ones. That's what I'm saying. It might warrant a tome. And dead. Because she reflected it right back at me. Yikes! These things are tough.
Fucking hell. Nope, I'm dead. She's gotta get down to the ground. Alright, where is she? Shit, I think I might be screwed right now. Ugh. Yep. She's not going to come down from that. Got her! These things are nasty. I hate them. Yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go, is down here. See, again, you know, they reflect your shots, they fly. It's an enemy that does everything it can to just be super annoying, and I hate those. This door is jammed shut. Gee, I wonder where I'm supposed to go then. <laughs> Haven't really played Portal Pravis since it came out. And I actually remember this map. Don't remember the rest of it, but I remember this map. See, that's why that door was jammed shut, as you can see. Shit, another one! Dang it! That beam does so much damage. Everything they do does so much damage. And that freaking... The invincibility, the flying... I don't like enemies that are... That won't let you hit them. Dead yet? Nope. And then she's hard to freaking see. Dead. That beam is unavoidable. That's another thing I don't like. Unavoidable damage. Yeah, that's fun.
The beam is literally unavoidable. For fuck's sake, come on. Fucking come on! And look at that! She's stuck in that animation until she hits you. I didn't do anything. Wow. So fair. Not using that on it. Nope, she's just going to stay back there in that... In Welcome to Hexen 2. <laughs> Fucking are you kidding? See the shit you gotta deal with? Unblockable damage. And she's trapped up in that fucking corner now. Oh my god, and it bounced twice to hit me. Bullshit! Hate those enemies so much. I don't know, maybe one of the other items I have, like a Glyph of the Ancient or something, will help take care of them. I honestly don't know. Oh, fun! Yep, try to jump across that and get killed by the darts that slow you down. Or just fall to my death, whatever. Okay, so what the hell am I missing? Man, I can't go anywhere else. God damn, quit. <laughs> Got horse shacked. Okay, that horse shack thing. That has got to be a reference to. Um, I don't have anything to heal, heal with either. That has got to be a reference. To welcome back Cotter. And it's not the only one either. 
because when you finish installing Hexen 2, the base game, you get a sound effect that says, Horshack! And then when you finish installing this expansion, you get one that says, Epstein! Which, I swear, it ha- Since those are two character names from Welcome Back Cotter, that's the only thing I can think of. And I can't understand why. What either of them have to do with this game. Unless someone at Raven Software was just a really big Welcome Back Cotter fan. And I've never seen anyone else mention that either. That's the really confusing part. Yeah, I'm going full speed in the water. That's got to be what free movement is. Can I jump out of the water, please? Apparently not. Jump. Jump out of the water. Jump out of the water so I can climb up this. Please get out of the fucking water. Are you kidding? I can't get out of the water. What is this thing over there that's glowing? Well, I'm stuck in here now. Uh, yeah, I think I'm supposed to be able to jump out of this water. But it's nothing doing for me right now. Okay, you see, I am jumping a little bit, but not high enough to get off of this. There we go! I had to not use the jump button. Literally, that was the key. So even though you have a button to jump, you can't use it to jump out of the water. game is dumb sometimes. Not gonna lie. Can't, can't get up there right now. I'm gonna die to this fucking spider. Yep. I'm actually running low on green mana now. Come on, come play with me. Okay, don't play with me that much. Jesus! How come I how come I can't hit you? You can hit Hello, how many of you are there? You came out of freaking nowhere, just came sailing in and grabbed me. Oh my god, this game. Hey, it's... I suppose that was too obvious.
No, I'm dead. There's no way I can survive this. Yep. No, I can't even swing the axe. I can't even swing the axe. I have to throw it or nothing. There it goes back to the sword. I'll break that. Two more. And now that the sword. No health. Oh, thank you. Don't know how long this ring of regeneration is going to work. But I'm just going to sit here till it does. It doesn't show up on the corners there. It's just regenerating me. Got a time limit down there, as you can see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is a beautiful item. Cross key. Wow, that whole thing is illusionary. All right. I actually like that the water is illusionary too. The water and the bridge. You just fall. And the purifier piece too. So I have my ultimate weapon already. Why am I going this way when the cross keys the other way? The place that needed the cross keys the other way. Where is it? Down here. I'm here in spiders. Cross key. Oh, there, hey, look, spiders. Why well, I'm on the axe. See, now the problem I'm going to have now is using the purifier will be difficult because I'm constantly using my blue mana whether I want to or not by using the sword. I can't use the sword without using the mana. Ring of Regeneration is running low, unfortunately, but it did its job. And I put the mask on Lazarus there. So time to bail. Down we go. Oh, okay. Hi, hi, spiders. Is this a boss fight? I think this is a boss fight. Ah, it's a boss fight, all right. Okay, well, if that's the case, let me prepare... Oh, nope. Oh. Ahem, if that's the case, let me prepare for it. Thank you very much for the bits. This is a Tome of Power Purifier right here. That is the end of that boss fight right there. As you step into the bright light, a blast of cold air whips at your face. Snow falls gently as far as you can see. Its peaceful grace does not cause you to lose sight of your goal. Pravis is not far, and neither is death. Now, interesting, Pravis here does not have the diphthong here, but like I said, it does on the box. 
on the art. I wonder if they decided to use that later on. Of course, again, I have it down in my description. But yes, thank you very much, Z, for the for the bits. The boss fight doesn't take long when you've got a Tome of Power ultimate weapon. And that's actually going to probably be it for the day. Because that's the first hub. That's the first... Basically the first half of the game. Yeah, the expansion is not long. Oh, nice. Sense running it. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm just going to show real quick what the Purifier does without the Tome of Power. Much smaller bolts, but a lot of them. It's a machine gun. With it, as you saw, it's a rocket launcher. Now I'm kind of curious as to what the other weapons do with the Tome of Power equipped. Let's find out. Oh, okay, the sword throws arcs of electricity. Punch do anything special? Doesn't... Yowza! Okay, don't go toward the Yakman without... Or with the... Don't go... Don't melee the Yakman. And this throws three. Which are ice, apparently. Yeah, there's the boss. He throws fire at you. Oh, he freezes you and just nails you. Yikes. Well, I'm glad I was able to just... Zap, zap, zap him with the other weapon. There. So, well, that, that's the first hub of Hexen 2, Portal of Pravis. Using the Paladin. Uh, what do I think of the Paladin so far? It's, like I say, it's like the fighter from the base Hexen. In that your first weapon is another melee weapon that is more powerful if you have mana. I don't like the way that you can't choose to not use the mana. That will make it harder to use the purifier, except that I have the Crater of Might, which just goes, gulp, full mana, go. So, whatever there. The Fallen Angel, especially the Fallen Angel Lords, are... Bullshit! They are just stupid strong. Most of their time is spent being invulnerable and reflecting your melee or your ranged shots back at them. And they have a huge unblockable damage beam. All things that I dislike on enemies. And of course, they do a lot of damage, and they have a lot of hit points, because they're basically mini-bosses. Ugh. We'll get into more of this as we go on, but, yeah, so far so good. So far so good. I will see you guys tomorrow, Internet. Until then, take care and enjoy the games you play.